I just opened my curtains this morning and there are lots of people running outside. Some sort of marathon seems to be happening. Just taking a quick trip to Sainsbury's before I do any work today. It's really nice. I wish I didn't have work and I could just go punting or running or anything really. There are people running everywhere. Turns out I'm 20 minutes early. Sainsbury's isn't open yet. I didn't realise it didn't open until 11 on a Sunday. There we go. This has happened an unreasonable number of times lately. It's Monday of the last real week. I'm finally going home this weekend. But it is by no means an easy week. I've got lectures as normal today, tomorrow and Wednesday. I've got two supervisions today, one tomorrow, one on Wednesday and one on Thursday and a meeting with my director of studies on Thursday. I still have some other stuff to do as well before I go home. I've got a package. Forty batteries to last me a while. Work in the bar again and the last time I said this my brother didn't believe me but let me show you the bar during the day. It is quiet with tables. Except the tables aren't very clean today. Two days of lectures left. Uh, tomorrow's supervision has been cancelled and we're going to have that next term instead. There's the same supervisor, he cancelled our supervision last week and rearranged it to yesterday. Now he's cancelled tomorrow's supervision. But that means less work for me to do this week, but more over Easter. But I'll have much more time over Easter, so that's okay. Our room didn't get clean last week. I assume it will be this week. I don't know which day it'll be because I should probably take all of this stuff down before it does so I don't kill the better with tripods. I've got more stuff. This thing's pretty big. So this should be a camera, a Canon S120, which is a little point and shoot. No, not that small, a bit bigger. But it came with a free tripod, which is why the box is so tall. And it's really warm in here. It's always so warm when I get back from lectures, even on a cold day like this. So I didn't really need a new tripod, but it was free, so like obviously I'm going to take it. And I'll add it to my other collection of tripods. So I'll get this thing opened, and then maybe some of these vlog videos will be slightly better quality with a wider angle. I don't know how much I'll carry around the camera, um, because it's obviously not as small as my phone, and it's not my phone which I'm going to be carrying anyway. So we'll see, uh, but sometimes I will have it. Anyway, I'm not sure if this is going to make it into a vlog or a separate video. In case it's a separate video, today I have an unboxing of a new camera, a Canon S120, which is a small point and shoot, and it's in a very large box because it came with a free tripod. Um, the camera is obviously not this big, that would be a pretty big camera. So I've wanted a small good quality camera for a while because I think it would be useful for vlogging sometimes or other events where I want good quality but I can't take a, a huge DSLR because this thing will fit in my pocket which will be great for going away somewhere like if, you, if you've been watching my vlogs I went to Bath a few weeks ago uh, that kind of short trip away so this is from Wex Photographic and they uh, have an offer at the minute to get a free tripod with some of their cameras it's a Manfrotto tripod so it should be pretty good I can't remember the model number, but I'm sure it will be in the title or the description or both, and I will tell you what it is myself when I get it out of the box. The tripod was not the reason I bought this, that's why I don't know much about it. So, this, this large box is completely unnecessary. I can barely reach the thing in the bottom. There's the tripod. Look at the height of that compared to the box. and the camera is wrapped up in there, it's even smaller. Really, Wex? Was that necessary? I just had to go to the Porter's Lodge to pick this up and they were like, oh, it's the really big box over there. Uh, they were asking what it was. It's a tripod, which made sense, tripods are big. But not this one, when it's folded down. Anyway, 
Let's open, let's open the tripod first, because this will be quick. So, it's a Manfrotto Compact Series. Uh, it'll have a model number. MKC3H01. That catchy name. Everybody will be jealous of my MKC3H01. Oh, the, the, the front of it has Velcro on it. That's nice. So you get some information about it. Compact Photo Movie Kit is the universal solution. One light, fast and compact support for all applications. Safe and quick camera attachment system, fast and easy wheel lock. Unique photo movie mode selector, one support to fit all your shooting needs. Ergonomic handle. Uh, so this is a pretty cool tripod actually. It has lots of sections. One, what's this going to have? Two, three, four, and then the top bit, which means it can get quite high and be quite compact. Uh, let's not use all of them though, so you can see the top. It means the bottom of the legs are very skinny though, so it's not going to handle heavy cameras or strong wind or anything like that. But that's not what it's designed for. So this, I think this is called a pistol grip, maybe? I don't know how it works. <laughs> This, this wheel on the side selects between photo mood, mood? Mode. Photo mode and movie mode. Oh, I see, so you get this nice grip, this handle. Uh, you can move it and then to lock it you just rotate the wheel. So we can move this around and then lock it by rotating this thing. And then we can put it into movie mode. I don't know how that's different. I'll get back to you on that one. To remove plate H, push lever I and at the same time slide the plate as shown in figure 3. So, it has two modes. Uh, photo mode. In this mode, it can move anywhere. You can get the perfect shot you want for your photo, turn the wheel and lock. Now, when we put it into video mode, the idea is that you don't want the camera to tilt side to side because that's a weird movement for a video camera to make. You only want it to go up and down and left to right in like a, a kind of pan. So you want to be able to do this without it tilting. So it restricts the motion to just up and down and left to right. You can't tilt it sideways anymore. Now it still wobbles a little bit it seems, so it's not perfect, but this is one of their cheaper tripods. So that's the tripod. Next let's take a look at the camera which is the main part of this unboxing. Because this is what I actually ordered. Oh, loads of big bubble wrap. <laughs> anyway, got the Canon PowerShot S120 digital camera. The first user manual kit and the battery charger there. I'll have a look at those later. There's the battery and the camera. So the camera is really small for the kind of quality that you get from it. This will easily fit in a pocket. I have my phone in here as well. And I can, I can easily fit that in. It has a really big touch screen on the back. It has some really nice features which are all listed on the website. It has a microphone on the top which some people don't like. The older models had it on the front I think. Um, but I've never had an older model. I've got nothing to compare with. So we can touch to focus which is pretty nice. Just like you expect on a phone. Hopefully I can turn that noise off. I'll take my first photo. First photo of you. Don't you look nice there? Now I'm most interested in movie mode, so you just turn the dial on the top to movie. Pressing the shutter button still takes a photo in movie mode. Uh, but there's a record button, a dedicated record button, uh, which we can use. And it has stabilization, which it means there's slight delay on the screen. It's a bit weird. Now one thing that I wanted to know, uh, which nobody seemed to show, is how quickly you can get this out of your pocket and take a photo, or in my case shoot video. So this would be my pocket, and if I take it out and turn it on now, we are recording already. That's pretty good. And similarly with a photo, turn it on now, photo taken. That's the Canon S120, it's really nicely built. The quality of this is beautiful. You can get smaller ones, but this is one of the best quality pocketable cameras you can buy in this price range. If you want better quality, of course you can get that, but the camera is going to get bigger. And similarly in the other direction, if you want something that's a little bit slimmer. But you can't get a camera comparable to this kind of quality 
at a size much smaller. I can now vlog with the new camera. The stabilization in this thing is really good uh, when you just walk around. Like if I just walk around my room. I, <laughs> I know this is the worst test ever. But it's very stable. If you take my word for it. And I don't know how much I'll need to, but I can zoom in now. I guess that could be useful. This is the last piece of work during this term. I'm gonna scan it now and then I'm done with supervision work at least. half of this work but the deadline is in about two minutes. We're having pizza to celebrate the end of work for this term. I've got a whole pizza to myself this time for once. Probably gonna be my final drink, a shot of raspberry vodka.